Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use Spocket for your dropshipping and how you can set up your account on Spocket. So let's get started. First off, you are going to click on get started. Over here, you're going to sign up. You, you can use your Google account or your Facebook account. So once I put in my details, I'm going to get back to you guys. So once you've entered your details, you're going to be greeted with this basic dashboard. and. First off, let me start the video by saying, everyone knows to make money you need to sell products, but there are three basic things you need to focus on before you go on ahead and buy a bunch of merchandise. It is first off, what kind of products are available and how low can you get them for. So product pricing and product hunting is the first thing you need to look out for. What kind of product can you find and where will you be able to find it for the cheapest price? Second off, you need to select a product that has a great return on investment, so ROI. So if a product has a very small profit margin, it is not going to help you earn money very quickly. And on number three, you have to focus on marketing. So everyone is selling uh, these products and you need to be able to market them efficiently and get them on a higher rating on whatever application you're selling on to make them more appealing to the customer. So let's get into it. So over here, I'm going to focus on women's clothing. So you want to select a product that you actually know about. So I'm not going to be selling tech accessories or a gaming headset or some kind of masculine product because I wouldn't understand that product myself and I won't be able to accurately market it to my audience and neither would I know what kind of audience I have. It's very important to know your market and advertise accordingly. Another thing you need to focus on when looking at these products is that what is the current value and how many people are actually looking for such products. So for that, I would definitely recommend you hop on to Google Trends and see what kind of interest that that product is garnering. Let's search lip tints. And once you search that, you will be able to see what kind of interest it's garnering. So right now, the interest is lowering down. During the first two months of 2021, uh, there was a very high interest in it. That means that was probably the prime time to be selling that product. And now wouldn't be a great invest in lip tints. So you need to understand the current value, the market value, how many people are actually willing to pay the price and what price are they willing to pay for your product. Next up, you can also take a look at Amazon. So if you're about to sell or invest in women's night suits. So you're just going to search in night suits and then you're going to take a look at how many people are already selling this product, how many reviews do they have and what pricing are they on. You need to make sure you are able to accurately price match them. So if I'm selling shorts like these, I want to make sure that I price them under $25 and their price should probably start around $14 just to beat out my competitor because if you're selling at a higher price no one's going to buy your products and you won't have any organic sales and that is very important so price matching is something you must do and make sure you take a good look at what kind of listings are already available on Amazon before you go on to spock it and buy the merchandise so let's just say over here we have this night suit and the listing price is $27.90 and it says it's going to retail for $90 but that is inaccurate because as you just saw on Amazon there are night suits that are available for $26 and $90 is just unrealistic. So accordingly what are you gonna do now? You're gonna take a look at the left side, you're gonna click on search products now you're going to enter keywords here. So I'm just going to enter night suit and I'm going to search. Now you can see I have better results and the prices are actually realistic. So these are for $8 and their expected retail is $19. And compare that to Amazon listings and they are pretty accurate. You are going to beat out Amazon listings in the same price range of the same category. And over here, as you can see, this night suit is listed for $25. You're going to get it $8 and sell it for $20 and you will still be price beating the Amazon listing and also you will be making great profits. And 
it's very essential that you market these organically. So what you can do in terms of marketing is if you're about to sell this night suit, you should make a YouTube video about it and make sure to review it, uh, talk about the material, the quality, what kind of products are used, how it is comfortable, soft, or just listing out the benefits or the actual quality of this product. And you could Post that on YouTube and link your Shopify or whatever kind of e-commerce store down below. Uh, it could be Equate, it could be Shopify or whatever kind of e-commerce store that you're using. And what that will do is create a meaningful kind of uh, branding for your product. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, uh, YouTube ads, all of them are very helpful. But a YouTube video on its own will actually create this kind of sense of security for the customer as you will establish yourself as more of a brand rather than an individual seller. Now let's take another product. Let's just look, take a look at this gray kind of night suit. And as you can see here, $6.54 is the listing price and the expected retail is around $8. So what you're going to do is now I'm going to compare it to what Amazon has to offer. And a similar night suit is going for $32. So you can see this could be a very high return on investment. So how are you going to calculate if this is truly profitable? Because these aren't the only values that are you're going to be paying. You're going to have to pay your Shopify or Equity price whatever kind of e-commerce store you're hosting so you're gonna have to pay for that you're gonna have to take out marketing price and then you have to pay taxes so after these three costs are deducted that is going to be your actual profit so what is the real profit margin of this product what you're going to do is how much approximately you're going to sell this for let's just say the amazon store is selling for 32 so you're just going to sell this product for $25, so 25 minus the approximate this to $7 would be $18 left over. After $18, you're going to subtract your e-commerce store cost and your marketing cost. So let's just say you are paying $8 for your online store per month, and then after that, you're paying around $5 for marketing, and then you are paying maybe around 0.2% in taxes. So you're going to have a $4.8 profit margin for this product, which is actually pretty great. And this could be considered a great product to invest in. And you can start by ordering samples. You can even uh, check the variations that are available for this product. And you can add it to your import list so you can start ordering this product. So what kind of products actually have a large return on investment? Well, products that you can market as luxury products or high-end products will usually end up garnering a larger return on investment. And for that, you will need to invest in your marketing and advertising. So let's just search for silk night suits here. I'm showing you all in regards of examples as night suits so you can better understand how a specific item can have so many different niches that you could garner sales from. So even here, just by looking at this, you will see a silk dress that is $200 as the listing cost and it is selling for $224. So it is Although it's an expensive product and you will have to have a lot of capital to buy this, you will have a larger return on investment. Let's remove the filters of US shipping and shipping under $5. And then you are going to take a look at the items. So look for something that you could actually market as expensive. So over here, you can see 100% uh, silk turtleneck blouse going to click on that and you are going to see the profit margin is double. So to compare, I'm going to go on Amazon and I'm going to search a similar key term. Let's just say silk turtleneck blouse. I'm just going to copy it from here, search it on Amazon. And you can see these aren't silk blouses. You actually want your search results to be accurate. A lot of times they are not that accurate. Look for anything that is similar to the product. 
that you're about to get. So you can see this product is actually very different and it will be a larger hit because it is providing a new listing and it is something that is very consumer oriented. So uh, this clothing is usually a very high selling item especially in terms of women's clothing so that is something you should definitely take a look out for uh, cutting out the maybe e-commerce store taxes and other charges that you might inquire you will still be making a profit of around ten dollars or twenty dollars on this product so that was it for today i hope you guys found this helpful and understand how you could be making a lot of money using spocket and how to hunt product on spocket so I'll catch you guys in the next video.